In this question, we have a sine wave that's passed through a full wave rectifier. Um, so the output will be this red signal here. And the question is about what happens to the signal after it's rectified. What happens to the spectrum of this signal? So this is a multiple choice question. And um, surprisingly, um, not many people got it right. So it's one of the harder questions in the test. So let's, let's go through this one by one. What happens when you rectify a signal? So the first thing that happens is by eliminating this negative half cycle, if it's a full wave rectified signal, so the negative half cycle becomes positive. So the average value, the DC value, instead of being zero, now becomes something non-zero. So the first option, the DC term, will decrease. Well, it won't decrease. It was zero, and it becomes something positive. So that's um, clearly wrong, because it will actually increase. All right, so that's wrong. The next option is the power will inc increase. The power of the rectified signal will increase. Now, what would cause the power of a signal to increase? So remember, when talking about power, what we're talking about is the signal squared. So you're integrating the signal squared, and you're dividing by some period t. So why would the um, power increase? So the negative, by passing it through the rectifier circuit, so the negative component is becoming positive. But in any case, we're going to square, we're going to square the signal when calculating the power. So the um, power won't change by passing it through the rectifier circuit. So that uh, is false. The next option, all harmonics will reduce to zero. All harmonics will reduce to zero. So three people thought that was true. If all harmonics reduce to zero, we end up with DC. So that would give you DC. But this isn't DC. This is just a, a, a full rectified um, AC signal. It's still um, it's still not DC. It just happens to always be positive because we've eliminated the negative half cycle, but it's still not DC. So DC would look like that, and it's still not DC. So that option isn't correct. The next option, the DC term will increase. So we've already we've already um, established that the DC term will increase because initially the DC term was zero because it's symmetric, and now the DC term, or A0, will increase. So that's, that's true. The next option, um, the fundamental frequency will decrease. The fundamental frequency. So when we talk about the fundamental frequency, we're talking about the period. So initially, the uh, period of the waveform was that much. And now the period of the waveform after rectification is that much. So what's happened to the period? It's halved. So what would happen to the fundamental frequency? It would actually double. So instead of decrease, it would actually increase. It would double. So that's an incorrect option there. The next option, the fundamental frequency will increase. Well, we've, we've just established that it would double, so that's true. The next option, the power will decrease. No, we said the power won't change at all. 
So the power here doesn't change if we have a negative or a positive um, uh, value. So um, that's wrong because there's no change at all. So that statement is incorrect. There will be non-zero harmonic components. Now, what does that mean, non-zero harmonic components? So originally, our sine wave... our AC signal had a spectrum that might have looked something like this. Zero at DC, and then all harmonics greater than one are zero. So only one harmonic. But now we've, um, we've rectified it by removing the lower half cycle. We now have distorted the signal and we've introduced higher harmonics. So this is a direct result of our rectification. So yes, there will be non-zero harmonics. So that, that's how you would approach a question like that. You would just remember what we mean by DC value, what's the definition of power, and What's the definition of the fundamental frequency and what do we mean by higher harmonics? So that's how a question like that should be answered. I'm slightly um, surprised that so, um, so, so many of you made, uh, made mistakes here. Um, but hopefully, um, hopefully now you've done this question, you'll be better prepared for the exam.